Okay, what up Fantastics? Welcome to another Fantastic live stream. I hope you're doing well. So if you're here for the first time, welcome. My name is Alex and I make Fantastic videos about Finnish culture, lifestyle and language. So if you're into those kind of things, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And as you can see, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, today we have a little bit, let's just say, controversial topic. But the, qu the thing is that I've got so many questions about and comments about this topic and I definitely wanted to do a video about this and then I realized okay I could do a live stream on this topic and I, and then I was wondering like okay what is the what would be a great way to start to make any discussion about this topic in the first place and I've actually found at least a decent way in my opinion uh, I found a really good post on Quora.com which is basically this uh, social media post uh, a social media app, uh, platform where people can post questions and comments and answers there and I found a, a, actually a really uh, interesting topic on this one uh, on there and I thought we can go through that topic or so, uh, together and see what kind of comments thoughts people have there and make some con conversation and discussion about that. Our goal is definitely by no means to set any definitive answer uh, on this topic because first of all you know uh, racism and this kind of things exist everywhere uh, and the point is that many people have been just asking me about this if this exists in Finland so we are just um, my goal with this video and this live stream is just to bring your insights to this uh, topic and discussion and see what other people both Finns and foreigners have thought about this and of course we are just going to look a few comments that's definitely not going to give any broad answer to this topic anyways but at least it's something that we can get some good insights we have some people here we have claudia we have Flastis, we have uh, why i'm not seeing the comment chat box here on my that's weird anyways uh we have uh mr potato we have riley and yeah, unfortunately, the, my streaming software is not showing the chat box for some reason, but I can see at least a little bit of your names on the on the screen. Well, that's good. Let me know in the comments or in the chat box, where are you watching this video? We have greetings from Argentina. We have greetings from Los Angeles. That's pretty cool. We have Saeka or Finnish moderator also. And yeah, let me see if I can get the get the chat box somehow because it should activate automatically when I go live but for some reason it's not doing that but I guess we can go without that's fine like what my mom always says my mom always says that the, the thing what we don't have is not something that we need <laughs> okay and I think it's actually a pretty nice nice uh, quote okay uh, we have Finn, uh, New York South Korea Nigeria Germany Ireland, Toronto, Belgium. Wow, so many fantastics all around the world. Okay, and also remember, guys, our our goal is to approach this topic constructively. I, we are not want to make any nasty conversations, but just to see what kind of things will pop up. Okay, so I'll change this to the uh, to the uh, my screen now, so you can we can get started and you can actually view this post I, I think I put the link in the description already so you can check it out there uh, I won't be looking at the comments all the time but at some point I will be definitely replying to you at, at least after we've gone through this okay so let's start okay so the thing is that uh, where I found this post uh, this uh, thing is Quora.com. It's basically this kind of like a social media where you can post questions and stuff. And I found a particularly good one because this topic, uh, this post I already went through this my myself, has actually quite nice, uh, uh, what do you call those aspects on this. Okay, and oh, this is actually a bit of a problem because now I cannot see at all if you guys are seeing this or not. How can I get the comment box? This is a little bit of a, a problem. Hold on, let's let me just see if I can get the comments somehow. Let's see. 
donations no pop up is it this one okay just technical problems usually it should should work but of course now when it's supposed to work it's not working recent events let me just pull this here ah no it's not working okay but i guess you guys are seeing this let me I'll, let me just i'll quickly switch back to the uh live screen let me okay i'm on the wrong screen also wow this is a so let me let me know in the chat if you could see the the text text uh, or the you know the post a little bit let let me know like thumbs up or i can see whatever ah this is such a nuisance let me get my phone let me get my phone and just when i thought everything would be running nicely okay it seems you can can see it that's cool all right okay well anyway let, let's just start and i'll switch back every once in a while so we can get it get it there perfectly visible okay nice okay so is finland a particularly racist society someone had made this question i don't know who but that's their topic and there's nine answers to this and there was a finnish guy first uh, apply answered this one so is Finland a racist country? Let's be a little bit more precise to answer with the question. Does racist mean with um, in occasional ethnic slurs or dirty looks or discrimination in working life and structural inequality, etc.? So that's actually the first thing. What is actually racism? We also have to think of like kind of what's the definition? Okay, but let's let's keep uh, going. I hope that Finns with migrant differentiated background will pick up this question. I represent the ethnic and cultural majority in Finland, and therefore I'm not best to quantify this answer. Well, okay, that's I guess that makes sense because he's Finn. Historically, Finland has experienced very little migration from outside of Europe. Finland has no history of colonial mentality. On the contrary, Finland has historically been uh, someone else's colony. If one wants to stretch the facts a bit humorously, okay. Uh, thus, the Finns' racism is typically xenophobic rather than racist. The presence of truly racist organizations in society is marginal. That's actually very true. We do have some fringe on extremi extremist groups, but systematic violence towards immigrants is practically non-existent. Okay, so actually this is very true. Uh, so this kind of like a direct or visible... Uh, racism in Finland is pr practically non-existent. I haven't really seen it myself or I don't really see it in news. So this is not something that foreigners have should be like be wearing or being careful against because it, it's not really a thing here. I mean if, if there is something it's definitely not something it's not like physical or verbal at least to my opinion. So uh, this is something I agree with. Uh, I know many people with origins in Middle East or Russia who have never experienced any serious verbal or physical abuse during uh, their 10 plus years in Finland. My anecdotal evidence also suggests that women from Middle Eastern countries who dress in Western style are more positively received when from the same countries. Okay, so I also have a lot of friends uh, from many different parts of the world who are actually living in Finland and working in Finland and stuff. And I've never heard of them saying that they have faced any racism. Well, maybe if I ask them, they could bring up something, but it's not something that I've, because they're quite close friends, so I would have guessed that they would brought up something. But it seems, at least for this person, it seems that people have been just fine. That's pretty good. Okay, uh, according to a recent Gallup conducted by Helsingin Sanomien in late 2017, almost half of all the Finns support immigration to Finland, with 40 percent, 41% opposing. The number of supporters was 11% higher than in 2010. The survey has been done after the refugee crisis in 2015, and here's the link to the one. Okay, well, always these Gallops and stuff, do Finns actually want to express that they don't want to any foreigners here. I don't know how the co research was conducted anyways, but at least it's it's something we can uh, talk about. Uh, in this article, Iranian-born researcher Alan Saleh, Saleh Sadez, did I pr pronounce it correctly, distinguishes organized racism from bad behavior. He argues that Finland in his experience has very little organized structural racism, which would exclude whole ethnic groups. And here is the link. Okay. That's interesting. 
Uh, the discrimination part is much trickier and much harder to prove right or wrong. Well, that's true. I mean, that's the something we I said in the beginning. There definitely is discrimination in working life, but since the issue exists everywhere in Europe. Okay, and that's also something that we should definitely keep in mind that, you know, this kind of discrimination or racism exists everywhere. It's not like a <laughs> it's not like a Finland exclusive thing. So something to keep in mind. Uh, it's hard to pinpoint Finland, especially. Yeah, what sort of what sort of future are the Western European countries planning for the immigrants, cheap labor, or real possibilities of professional advancement? What is realistic and what is fair? Okay. Okay, so that's interesting. Let me just switch to the live screen now. So that's interesting stuff. So d definitely, I agree with the f stuff that uh, this kind of verbal or direct or like systematic racism doesn't exist pretty much at all here in Finland. But this kind of working life stuff, uh, and let's just say like structural, I guess we would call it structural racism, definitely exists. And uh, that's, for example, the, uh, the challenge that it's difficult to get jobs here as foreigners. So let me know in the comments now, what do you think about this that we just saw? I cannot see, I cannot unfortunately scroll the comments at the moment. Let's see, let me actually open the live. This might lack for a second, but I'll I'll take it up. I'm Russian living in Helsinki. I'd say that Finns treat Russians better than Russians treat Russians. Okay, that's an interesting comment. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. What about what else do you think? If you especially if you have some experiences yourself, I'd love to hear if you if if that's what you want to share. So that would be great. I will. I'll take a small pause. I'll open the chat box from the browser. So I'll just wait until it loads. But yeah, let me know in the comments. What do you guys think of this so far? We'll be progressing in a little bit. It's been a while since I've been doing this stream. Okay. Hey Alex, what do you think about the current situation in Sweden? Uh, it doesn't see my comment rip. Yeah, now I'm actually, I'll put up the take up the comment box here, pop out chat. And now I will be able to see your comments. That's great. And now I'll just close this. And it might load a little bit. Uh, when I was 13, I tapped with a refugee from an African country. I'm sorry, but I don't know which was anymore. Well, I can totally understand why he doesn't want to be in this country anymore. Okay. So, okay, now I can see your comments. Now we are running nicely. Uh, if I didn't see your comment, you can just post it later. I will be reading the comments more actively later. Uh, uh, I'm from Bosnia, living in Finland two years, and I'm only joking with my colleagues and friends about racism. That's great. I'm really glad that you have, you have, have mostly had pro positive uh, stuff related to this. Hi from New Jersey, and half Hispanic, half British here to get an idea, even though my partner in Finland thinks I'm perfect. Three years solid. Good stuff. But in Germany, where I live, a lot of discrimination. He didn't get the job because he was black. Okay. Hello from Bosnia. What about those soldiers of Odin? Ah, yeah, soldiers of Odin. Well, there is a little bit of these kind of organizations who try to do this kind of whacked up stuff. But like I said, it's very marginal. And it's not something that you should be careful. They are just sometimes doing these kind of demonstrations and stuff. Okay. Ha all right. So let's see. I mean, considering the country's population small, near they have uh, that would be like forty-eight percent, which is small. Be one welcoming. Okay. I visited Finland last summer with my boyfriend, and everyone was very welcoming, especially you Noah, Mexican. We watched the World Cup together. They cheered the Mexico with me. Okay. Nice. I have been called Russia a few times, a few, no active discrimination, of course. I don't think this will, this happens on any basis. It's very small population. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, well, yeah, because we share a definitely, we share a history with Russia. So I, I guess with Russians, we Finns might have a little bit, you know, this kind of thing. But I think it, it, nowadays it's not really that bad. At, well, at least I haven't really seen much. 
I'm pretty sure that vast majority of Finnish are okay with immigration as long as it's legal and only limited in amount. Okay, Finnish opinion is also nice. Okay, thanks for guys for the good uh, comments. Let's move on. So I'll put change to the web uh, which one this one okay uh, how can I I'll put this these ones also here so I can see what you guys are talking okay so that was a Finnish uh, comment and now we have actually uh, uh, I think this was an Asian immigrant okay as an Asian immigrant for past three years I would say no I'm an Asian woman married to a Finnish man and you could think that I would be automatically labeled or dismissed as a mail order bride like in other Western countries luckily this was not the case for me okay uh, I've noticed that Finns as a whole are either, either very excited or shy when faced with foreigner who speaks English. In my experience, my racial background became w became a way to very to easily make friends and the Finnish culture itself to my liking. Okay, actually, I think this is quite true because I'm definitely one of those people who gets very excited. I noticed this when I started to study in the university, and I think this shy also is very true because there are just some things who are not really used to first of all maybe speaking English and just hanging out with foreigners but I think this is actually quite accurate uh, yeah okay let's move on however upon talking to Finns and other foreigners there is there is discrimination towards Arab and darker skinned males who dress up like hoodlums and hang out hang around the park or near railway stations understandably so because they are known to harass women who pass by and are generally disruptive and seedy okay my experiences and other females i personally know are generally mild harassment uh oh i missed the uh a mild harassment ear cat calling walking too close in one occasion coming towards me and my friend doing an air kiss about few inches from my friend's face okay <laughs> all right i see this is not something that i've never pretty much seen at least in my uh, life but maybe this arab and darker skinned males might get discriminated is that racism? No. All the females I know, native Finns and immigrants alike, avoid those areas with darker skinned males and Arabs in hoodies because it's not safe. Sadly, these hooligans are dark skinned, leading to some people believe or claim it's racism when those are frowned upon or when women and young people are asked to stay away in general. Okay. Actually, I don't really know about these areas. Uh, with who would have these kind of clusters? There might be some, but actually I don't really know myself. Maybe if there's any any people who people who know about these areas would be interesting to know. Uh, pushing that aside, we will move. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. pushing that aside. We will move on the job market. As a foreigner, it is very hard to find a job in Finland because most of the companies require you to speak fluent Finnish and that is a huge blockade for a lot of foreigners. I have friends and acquaintances who curse the Finns and the Finnish society as a whole because they can't get they can't get jobs because simply because they are foreigners. Okay, so this is ex this is the problem. I mean, this is something what I've heard and seen many times and Probably this is true. I mean, the mo most of them. Okay, let's just not say, let's just let's not say most of them, but at least some companies are a little bit hesitant to hire foreigners, and I I think that's kind of like a sad because there are many. I bet my Finnish ass again that there are many foreigners who are really capable and really skillful at doing whatever the skills they have, but Finns are just kind of too hesitant to hire foreigners and that's unfortunately true uh, on the other hand there are many people who have found good jobs here in Finland and most in, in some cases a job where they don't need to speak Finnish at all because the company is an international or the working language is English so uh, that's the thing but this is definitely a problem at least I don't know how big of a problem it is, but it seems it's definitely out there because I've seen this many times on, for example, this foreigners in Finland Facebook group. People comment all, always comment about this, all the time. 
Let me leave read of good comments. Uh, I saw a drunk guy close to Espo station Harris. Okay, well, drunk guys are definitely something that we can <laughs> kind of count. How would I say count out? Because you know, drunk people are always drunk, and you know, or not always, but they say some dumb shit, dumb shit, dumb shit. In the part New Jersey where I live, we have to deal with sexual harassment on daily by bringing a self Oh shit. Well, uh, that's not usually a problem in Finland. It seems Finns are very welcoming as long as you're willing to integrate and assimilate into society. That's actually very true. I'm going to be working there next year. I hope to master the language before I move. That's actually very, very true. And we can actually talk about this later on. Also, I would like to say if you want to work in the Finland, learning the language is a must. Well, it's may it's not necessarily a must, but it definitely helps you out to get better chances there. Okay, good stuff. Very nice comments. Let's move on. Oh, okay. Actually, there's more to this. Uh, all degrees are useless here, in, uh, here as Finland refuses to recognize a var variety of diplomas. And that is a huge blow, especially if you are struggling financially and live alone in this country. As a foreign woman, it's hard to be financially independent because it's difficult to find jobs when that is the case. My friends, acquaintances and I are forced to rely on our husbands to take care of our finances because of that. Okay, so if you don't know about this, uh, Finland has this kind of like system. Uh, let's say if you come, I think, outside of Europe, uh, they have this, they actually have to recognize or acknowledge your diplomas or degrees in order to have it have it valid here in Finland and I, I think that's kind of unfortunate and for example in her case here it seems I don't know what the diploma or degree is uh, it seems that the country or I don't know which org which organization it's part of the ministry of something I, I've, I've checked their website a few times but it's been a while so I can't really tell but it seems that in her case they they were just kind of like invalid invalidated which is a big big uh, problem. Uh, I'm not saying it's impossible to find jobs here or be independent in Finland as a foreigner. I'm saying it's hard when you are not a Finn and that is often construed as racism by a lot of people. Okay. Uh, I was in a foreigner group forum and a lot of members attribute all those struggles to racism, which I do not agree with. However, I do believe that Finland could be more open to people who want to contribute to the workforce and society as a whole instead of making things harder for them, leading to bitter sentiments and race-based misunderstandings. Okay. Okay, that's actually true. I mean, these kind of statements that Finland is race, racist and, you know, discriminated, it's just the fact that uh, people can't find, uh, for example, jobs here. And that's definitely, uh, definitely a big it's, it's like a bad thing because many people could get jobs but they just can't and then why there are some people who spread this kind of bad bad um, stuff to other people to social media okay let's me let me take a look at few comments now again even if your job doesn't require you to speak the language programming etc speaking the language fluently is your first step to integrate uh, well, that's true. Definitely, if you, I mean, if you can speak the language just a little bit, it's always a plus. For example, when I was in Japan and I was able to speak conversational Japanese, it definitely helped out to, in many cases. But of course, because I wasn't a planning to stay there long term, so I didn't have to actually make it step further. But that's definitely true. Uh, I don't think Finnish people have an issue hiring immigrants per se, but it's understandable how they would want to people to speak fluent Finnish to work in their companies. That's actually true. It depends on the company. Like, let's say if you have a, if you want to be a sales clerk, for example, at Prisma or whatever, that's a job where you need to interact with Finnish people on a daily basis. And of course, it's understandable that they require fluent Finnish. That makes completely sense. But let's just say if you are like a chef in a restaurant where you don't have to directly interact with the customers, then it would make sense that if you are really kick-ass chef, uh, you don't speak maybe Finnish that well, but you're still good at, at the thing you do. I think that's a really good, uh, it's enough for, to get you hired. 
How else could you understand someone if you don't even bother to learn the official language of the country you live in? Well, that's the thing. I know many of my friends who have found the English-speaking positions, they don't really uh, speak Finnish that much because they just pretty much don't have to. First of all, because in Finland many people speak English, and if their work is also in English, then that's pretty much enough. Okay, really nice plans. Uh, I have plans to study in Kovala. I have only one doubt. Part-time jobs for students. Uh, yeah, well, part-time jobs definitely are quite a challenge, as according what I've heard. But again, if you can find a job where you don't have to really speak Finnish that much or have to interact, interact let's just say, with the customers. With part-time jobs, my first advice is to be active. Go, go to the jobs and companies directly or call them like hey my name is blah 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 and I know blah 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 I sh do you have any work for me because I know that that's been working for quite a many people also Finns as well as foreigners the Finnish education system is one of the best in the world so no wonder that a lot of papers are not able to be accessed but even well educated Finns have trouble that's actually true and very good point Char from Charlie in that also Finnish people are facing uh, difficulties to land a job so so that's also something you should keep in mind that even uh, even some Finnish people can't really find a job here Julia Che good evening welcome to the live show I live in Ireland live a Protestant there and there's discrimination against Catholics Mm -hmm. Okay, this kind of religion-based. Um, well, maybe yeah, maybe there's a little bit of that also. Uh, 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 let's just see. Oh, Olivia's also here. By the way, if you haven't checked Olivia's channel, go do it after this live stream because she also makes some pretty good Finland-related videos uh, in English. So make sure to check out her channel as well. It's easy to get cleaning jobs as part-time. Or personal assistant jobs. Okay, thanks, Olivia, for sharing. Actually, that is true. Now that I, now that you mentioned it, I know some. For example, when I was still studying, I used to have two flatmates from Pakistan, and one of them actually had this uh, newspaper distribution job, and that's something she uh, he got because it didn't require any Finnish. So at least at at least that's something, but. Uh, I was recently in Helsinki only as a layover, but people were so helpful. I was traveling with my dad, who is handicapped. Actually, that's something that's very true. Finns are, even if you are talking about racism, discriminations, and this kind of stuff, but Finns are still very helpful. I'm, uh, I mean, many times I, I've seen it myself, and I, I'm doing that myself as well. They help you with the luggage, or if you're wondering like which tram to take. Usually feels like, hey, can I help you? Do you need to find any instructions? Whatever. That's definitely true. Okay, very good points. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's let me switch to the TV screen. And actually, actually, let me just quickly add my at my webcam here. Uh, brr, 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 video capture device. Is it video capture? Yes webcam and let me just do it oh come on okay there we go there we oh no <laughs> just when i thought that everything's working okay i think this looks better uh all right another comment here this is from a foreigner i don't know how a country can be racist but if you insist to ask this question finland is not Finland is not a racist country. However, are Finns racist? According to my observation as a Kosovo, Kosovar who lives Finland, uh, five who lives five years in Finland, Finns are still not adapted well with foreigners and migra migrants in their country comparing to countries like Germany, France, and Sweden. That's understandable because the first wave of migrants in Finland dates back in the late 70s, uh, while the serious migration started after 90s, and Finns who were born before their 80s still have difficulties to keep the uh, uh, to accept the presence of migrants in Finland. I cannot say the same for new generations since they are growing up with children of migrants going to the same school, playing together, etc. That's also an interesting uh, point. I don't know the history that well myself, but that could 
that's I guess this is true to some extent. So the thing is, like in the first comment up with the who, from the Finnish person, we are just not used to have foreigners around here, or it, or not at least for a long time, compared to like countries Sweden, Denmark, uh, Germany, France, and Sweden. Uh, Finns are usually cold and silent. That's their nature. You cannot expect from a uh, ex <laughs> you cannot expect from them to be warm with you, and it takes a long time from them to accept you as a friend or share anything with you. They are over reserved, and it's really difficult to hang out with them. <laughs> okay. Moreover, the basic knowledge of them when it comes down comes to the countries, cultures of the world in general is not high. Okay, that's an interesting statement. In case of me, I was usually mistaken for Turkish when I was telling them that I'm from Kosovo. Uh, some of them thought Kosovo is somewhere in Afghanistan, some others in Russia. Even my Finnish language course teacher was surprised when she heard that Kosovo is in Balkans. Okay, well that's interesting. Uh, that's That was a case when a co-worker of my friend asked if there's asphalt in Kosovo, or is it fully desert? <laughs> desert, yeah. Uh, when I want, uh, when I want to say that it's like general knowledge when it comes down to the world, countries and cultures create a lot of stereotypes, and as a result, Finnish society view migrants with superiority complex, except people from the U.S., Great Britain, Britain, Germany, Sweden, and Italy, France, and Spain. Okay. Word to mention daily newspapers like Ilda Lehti, Ilta Sanomat and Helsingin Sanomat usually, which usually publish bombas, bomb, bombastic news about how mi migrants make crimes in Finland. When it comes to crimes of Finns inside Finland, that's not as important as crimes of migrants. The result, more stereotypes. Okay, well, uh, I think this last part about media making, uh, highlighting crimes of my uh, immigrants is... I think it, it actually could be true to some extent. It's just like my gut feeling. I could be also wrong, but I remember that they usually usually make highlights, especially if, if it's um, made by a uh, foreigner. Let me open the chat box also. And what was the one? Uh, and the, the, uh, this was interesting that the Finns are not culturally aware of other cultures. Mm, that's an interesting statement. Never thought about that myself, to be honest. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Is this something that could be true? This stuff with the news sounds exactly like here in Germany. Okay. Gope, we have majority of people who don't believe only think Christian is ritual. Uh, uh, I'm Christian. I heard Finns don't go to church. Yeah, th like th okay, that's a little bit sidetracking. But uh, religion is not really an important thing for Finns nowadays, At l especially for younger generations like me. Uh, let's see. So, wh wh what thoughts? What kind of thoughts did you get from these uh, comments? Uh, it does have some truth, I guess, with the many countries in the same, okay. Sorry, I'm getting like a lot of st stuff here. Okay, never mind. I don't think it's true. I know more Finns that know more about Canadian indigenous people's history than the people. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. This is, uh, this is just, again, what I highlighted in the beginning. It's just kind of these thoughts and comments. Crimes are public in Finland, no, where they claim, yeah, definitely that's true. It's just about how how it's uh, mentioned in media. That explains why Finland has so many black metal bands. <laughs> okay. I believe Finland has less racism compared to my home country. Okay. I don't know how the setup. Okay. About the news, it does have some truth in it. Okay. Olivia from Olivia, that's interesting. You can't expect to know anything about every country, sounds quite reasonable. Well, of course, that's true. That's definitely true. And I, I never even thought about it could be connected to racism, but maybe it is, in, in some way at least. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. 
Oh, the, actually this one con goes on. Uh, on the other part of the medal, some groups of migrants did many bad things in Finland and that also doubled the stereotypes uh, against them and affected nearby the rest of the migrant groups. All these stereotypes of crimes of migrants led to emerging extreme right groups like Perussuomalaiset or even the worst Vastarin, the members of whom also pasted the sign of their organization in the toilet of my workplace. Wow. However, the, for the sake of the honesty, not many Finns support uh, Perussuomalaiset or Vastarin, but we cannot deny their existence and the hate speech of their members. So are Finns racist? Some of them are generally, they don't care, some are not at all. Exactly, yeah. I don't know what the people hide in their hearts, but or what they speak of us in the conversation, but in public, it's not common to notice racist. If you want to notice them, just read the comments section of the web portals. Actually, this is very, uh, I think this is quite accurate. Uh, okay, so Peru Somalas is this uh, Finnish political party which is not very, let's say, foreign friendly. And I actually have never even heard of this Vastarinta. To be honest, uh, yeah, but like this, this last paragraph concludes. If you don't really see the racism like visibly, and this is actually quite nice. If you want to see ra racism, you have to just go to Facebook and in the comment section, and that's it. That's where you see the stuff, and that's. <laughs> Now that I see this, it it does make sense to some at least some some extent. Let's see. I don't know. Very too many migrants made the stereotyping worse. Ex and that's actually the thing. Yeah, oh, did I skip it? Because there are there are first of all there are let's just say good foreigners, people who come here, they get a job, they pay taxes and stuff. They kind of contributed to society, but then uh, there are these douchebags who come here. They don't really get integrated to the culture and the society, and they even up end up committing crimes. And there are a few examples. For example, the recent o Oulu incident, and was it one or two years ago the terrorist attack in Turku, which was made an Afri by an African person, and that was I think the first terrorist act committed in Finland in the, in, the, in our history. And of course, these kind of acts make the stereotypes worse, because of course, if if we have a let's say a foreigner doing a terrorist act in Finland, of course, it makes Finns even more on their toes. It does make sense, and that's of course a bad thing because it also pulls down the good, let's say, the good foreigners. Finnish people, are, they are so nice, but some people may just take and understand wrong beginning. Mm -hmm. Douchebags, yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay, now we have a Finnish comment here. Let's let's check this one out. Uh, an ordinary Finn is not racist, just a peace and privacy-loving person. People might have prejudice towards maybe half a dozen groups, but that's not just because the stereotypes bad experiences what and what's being broadcasted in the news. Once a, Finn's, uh, once a Finn gets to know the individual, his possible prejudice, prejudices vanish unless the interaction reaffirms him or his previous beliefs. It doesn't have to do with the skin color or religion rather than the perception of some people from certain regions. Of course, it's unfair to generalize, but Finns are cautious people. And I, th I think that's quite true, actually, this one. Many also lack of communicating with different people like general knowledge and vocabulary. I think this is actually a very uh, good way to describe Finns. We love our peace, we love our personal space, and we are not really kind of that talkative. And once we get like a new type of person, let's say a foreigner in this case, we are like, oh, what is this person trying to do? Because we are not kind of used to that thing. But once we get to know them, uh, and it seems like it's a, like a f okay fella or girl, whatever, then usually this kind of like cautious thing will go away, I think. Okay, good stuff. Let's let me fin go forward. 
the groups I referred to are immigrants from Africa, Middle East and former Yugoslavia due to culture difference and background relating to the war. Finns are sometimes suspicious also of Russians because of our history with Russia and don't care too much about beggars either who are mostly from Romania. Uh, and other group of are the Finnish gypsies who have actually been here for 500 years but are still considered as difficult and untrustworthy. That's why most of them are in, uh, unemployed. On the other hand, many of, the lack, many of them lack education required and also unwilling to work under the same rules than the majority. That's why many of them have problems with the law. I might have left something out, but these comes comes in mind. Okay. And uh, this is kind of the same stuff, like there are some people who don't really get integrated well, and that causes problems. As long as the person behaves good and provides for himself with honest work, Finns don't have problems with him or her. Of course there are some people with racist opinions, like in every country, mostly in lower class, but they are not organized. Exactly. See, we, we actually, uh, we can see that some themes and th comments get, get, keep getting repeated here. A very few small groups are, are a, a very f for, <laughs> okay. a very a few very small groups are, but not in a serious way. Problem is that many times refugees come in contact with those individuals because coming to their country without a job, one is located to places and situations where it's likely to come across racism. It's difficult to climb to the latter into better circles. Many people, many don't succeed in that. Therefore, they make generalization concerning all things, get frustrated and isolate themselves from the society. Again, we have the same thing. There are people who uh, get just don't succeed, they get frustrated and then they blame the whole country for that. Also the people. Uh, it's just that, okay, let, this is the last one. It's just that there are no good guide to explain how to navigate Finnish society, that's true. And if there were, uh, e and, e and even if there were, it would take certain background from the immigrant to understand subtleties. Uh, the natives are most time non-talkative, grumpy, straightforward, very selective of their company and often have built armors of safety bubbles around them. This is really fun stuff actually. So it's nearly impossible to connect them with even with another Finn, that's true. Not alone to so not not alone to someone without a job, education or even the same language. To make matters worse, previous degrees are not even recognized here and uh, to get the job one is required to be fluent in Finnish which is one of the hardest languages to learn. I wouldn't count these things as racism though, even if they might seem that way, they're same for everybody. That's actually very, very wise comments. I, 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 well, let's just say it's very uh, eye-opening. Uh, first of all, the way how th this one describes Finns is actually very true. We Even we Finnish people have trouble engaging into conversation, I interaction and make friends with other Finns. So it's not, it's also the problem for, for us as well. So to make friends with a foreigner is, you can imagine if we even can make f kind of uh, making, con get in touch with uh, us as Finns, it, it's hap it will also be difficult with foreigners. But the, the, that's the thing like, uh, yeah, the, okay, We uh, again, we have the f fact that we have to learn Finnish. Okay, well, that's true. Uh, is it the same for everybody? Well, I kind of disagree because some fields here are definitely in, uh, operate in English. But for some people, learning Finnish is definitely a must. But for example, uh, I, know the peop uh, I know two people or two friends of mine who are uh, uh, foreigners and they have a job in an, in an English speaking job, or at least one of them actually has, but they both speak fluent Finnish and they've, they have taken the time to learn Finnish. And for example, Raul from Mexico, who has also been on my channel, he told that it took him one year to learn Finnish in a way that he could do pretty much everything he wanted. So it's definitely learnable and it's also the same for us everyone. Okay, let's take a few comments here. Joe the programmer is here, Terve. Good to see you. Are Finnish racist? Yes, no doubt, okay. <laughs> Some of the immigrants uh, immigrate to other countries to find a better life, but they shouldn't expect that they don't have to learn the language and expect the culture. That's very true. I mean, for example, when I went to Japan, uh, I definitely wanted to learn more about the culture and learn the language. That's actu that was actually one of my mo 
biggest motives to go to Japan to learn the language because uh, Japanese is a very fun language and when I, I was really glad that I went through the trouble because when I got there I got much out of, much more out of the culture and the people when I was able to speak uh, Japanese okay let's see we have a lot of them in Finnish language school I don't know okay, now I need to probably scroll the most annoying part is that there's many who don't want to work uh, okay I guess you're we're talking about f uh, immigrants here I think the worst stereotypes in Finland are against Romanian and gypsies rather than the Middle Eastern and Saharan Africans that could be the case you see them I see them like every once in a while uh, I don't really know any like practical stuff but yeah but that could be the case we have a lot of them in my Finnish language school I don't yeah yeah th this is the problem like just what Olivia is saying here there are these people who come here they might become as like ref refugees or asylum seekers or whatever but then they don't want to work at all they just come here to live on the expense of the taxpayers and this is also one of those annoying things that make Finnish people think of uh, foreigners in a negative way because I bet uh, because there are those good type of foreigners who come here to find a job and you know are putting effort to uh, integrate and uh, integrate into society learn the language and stuff but then these d dumbasses you know pull the mat under your feet Uh, the Finnish people, they are peace of people, a peace people, but I think there's some immigrant who did troubles, of course, some people, yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah, it's just what we talk about. Uh, if someone's so interested in the cultural language, etc., with which they want to be grown up, then stay there, don't emigrate. I don't like it when the people want to move to create their country in the new country. Well, I, I guess that's true. Of course, you can kind of teach your own stuff there, but... Uh, if you in Finnish we have the saying maassa maan tavalla which practically means that in the country you will live in the way of that country that's actually a very bad translation but but you you get the point so if you want to come to Finland you need to uh, you need to learn how to learn like Finns do you don't have to change your personality or you don't have to make any drastic change yourself but you have to adapt this uh, just have to understand that you have to change you have to start thinking actively how do how does the Finnish society work and how you can be part of that society very good comments here good stuff in tactics. I have heard that Finnish language is so colloquial that native speakers of the language do not rely on the grammar rules uh, that is the spoken language that is true definitely we uh, the grammar rules, rules are a little bit different I have done actually a free online course also on that topic the link should be in the description every immigrant has has a different reality on older younger refugees is not the same as immigrant student reality that's true but anyway it doesn't it doesn't matter if you're old old or young or student or whatever you still have the same rule still applies to you you have to put effort in order to get a kind of assimilated or integrated with our society how many people we have actually in the chat I cannot see it here but oh, that's not important, important thank you Finland if they don't respect culture don't like society they can fuck off I'm not racist but just sorry for the f-bomb okay well you you are forgiven uh, act like a Roman Ah. Good stuff. I feel like putting in the effort to integrate and try to work should be the condition of moving anywhere, including asylum. Okay, yeah. Joe is, Joe is doing some good stuff. Joe, how is your finish? Are you improving? Uh, I know plenty of people who doesn't know the language and feels fine. Expe like in Helsinki, Helsinki is definitely a pretty multicultural and already so. Uh, okay. Good stuff. Okay, I think there's a few more here. Let's let's see. Okay, there's a foreign comment. Given the following, Finns tend to see themselves as not not non-Caucasian. Finns employers and university staff will treat even Caucasians, indeed any non-Finns, with prejudice. 
what the hell is this? Finnish employers and universities. This attitude is taught early in life here. Finland is a racist country. <laughs> okay, um, it seems that this person is definitely like kind of like a little bit frustrated and is just uh, judging the whole country here. It's an undoable problem. It's still a problem. Legislation aimed at combating discrimination makes the burden of proof too high and does nothing to help in case of discrimination. So there's the first step. Uh, even the local socially ombuds person said that well, what's been happening to me for the past two decades is discrimination. I don't know actually what he's talking about here. It should be a cause for embarrassment, but many Finns think Finns as a victory over invaders. Stupid attitude. Finland has a lot of going for it. This sort of shit spoils that. This seems like a hate comment, kind of. I didn't really understand. He's just saying, or this person is just saying, that, okay, this is this is a racist country, but doesn't really tell why. Okay, whatever, let's move on. Uh, it's not right to generalize about an entire population. Many Finns, but that's that's very true, by the way. Many Finns strongly believe in uh, equality and do not think of anyone better than anyone else. Hmm. I'm not so sure about that. Maybe there, there might be some Finns who think like, oh, we are the best, but... Okay. Uh, there's also Finns who are prejudiced against one, those of darker skin, two, those who with different religion and culture. No, this is not unique to Finland. That's, again, something we should keep in mind. Uh, being black and Muslim, some aliens suffer the most discrimination, and it's rather sad. I know there's been serious crimes and integration problems, but there could be members of community who could uh, who would contribute to the society. Perhaps even long distance runner in more Farad's mold. Okay. Overall, I'm very positive about Finland and admire the country very much, but I tend to avoid neighborhoods with a lot of social housing. I don't want negative interactions, they might spoil my perspective. Again, okay, so this is what we've been to telling about. There are people who don't integrate and end up committing crimes. Of course, not all of them, but some. And then there are these people who could contribute our society in a very positive way. Okay, let's see some comments. Uh, Joe, I'm gradually improving. Progress should be a lot faster when I have social conversations finished. Good job. Good job. Uh, good job, Joe. I'm glad that you're doing nicely. Finland can't accept all migrants. That's definitely true. That's I'm not. Uh, that's definitely true we should like if you ask me about immigration i'm definitely okay for immigration as long as there are people who want to uh, find a job pay taxes and uh, integrate to our culture because i love foreigners foreigners are very nice people i have a lot of fam i'm very foreign friendly myself uh let's see the rules applied mentally but can be difficult from a war zone. We both don't finish society to survive and assimilate. Mm, well, that's true. I'm coming to Helsinki soon for the holiday. Thank you for letting me know what to expect. Yeah, if you just come for the holiday, you uh, like, okay, that you you might encounter this kind of, let's say, racism, discrimination, whatever you want to call it, if you can't plan to move here. But if you are just traveling around, I, I I'm pretty sure you, you you don't get anything because friends are mostly friendly, especially for tourists, as long as you are not making any trouble yourself. Uh, mine still needs to work and my partner is going to help me with immersion in the language when he visits for them in the summer. Nice. I hate it when foreigners uh, wear circus come. I hate when foreigners use the racism card for all their problems instead of... Exactly! So good, very good comment from Saika here. So, uh, yeah, you should. F this is uh, definitely something that, that is true in my in my opinion. That if something not, is not working, maybe you should first check that if you are doing everything correctly. This is like a very abstract thought, but anyways, before blaming everyone, like getting this kind of victim mentality. Because we should first think about, okay, is there something that we can affect ourselves before getting victimized? Finland must keep its population homogeneous. Oh, well, I'm not really sure about that. 
Uh, today we are the best congress to the Lions. Oh yeah, so Finland won the world championships in the youth ice hockey. Good job. Finland is not a racism country. Well, I get, I would say, well, I, would, I would kind of agree with that one. Finland should enforce laws like Denmark. Denmark, unless Confucius society, he can never get permanent residence permit and they don't care. Mm. That's, I guess that's true. I mean, if there are people who don't even try to get a job or you know, you get integrated to the culture. They just should go. I mean, why why should we why should we cover their life with our tax pay tax money? That's very true. Uh, all countries in the world should control immigration. Well, this is not really easy. Cultural assimilation is key. To be fair, Finland are not really responsible for all the. Uh, wow, there's so many comments I always give. Yeah, okay. Would, but would any country accept all immigrants? I don't think so, yeah. If you had to immigrate, which I don't, where would you move to? Ah, I don't know. Maybe Germany or Sweden would be kind of cool also. Hmm. Because I, I can speak German and I, w I would love to brush up my Swedish too. <laughs> mm, has Finland ever had a segregation? What is segregation? So, no, that is actually a new word. Did you see the ice hockey this morning? No, I was sleeping. Sorry, I, I just checked the highlights. It's always easy to put blames on the other people for our problems. Yeah, victim mindset. That's true. Uh, I don't believe a country should be blamed for a job problems. Yeah, because if you think about it, if, if if you are in Finland, you are basically, okay, well, let's just say if you are a foreigner in Finland, you are basically, the, everything's, how would I say, you are in the same level with all the other foreigners. You you probably had, might have some different background and different skills and stuff. But the thing is that, okay, let me give a, give you an example. Uh, I always tell that software engineers get a good job here. So what you can do, if you want to ensure you get the job, you could just learn to code. That is something that everyone can learn. There's tons of free material on, on the internet accessible. And coding is definitely a skill that you can learn without any university degree. Even, for example, in my company, there's one girl who is a self-taught coder and she is now a software de developer so that is something that's kind of like a it's not an easy task to do but if that's something you really want to do then you can do it yeah okay My fiance lives in social housing. He goes to college, is learning to finish language, works very hard. Do not put all the people who live in social housing in one group. Mm -hmm. That's very true. Do not. We, we shouldn't generalize. Segregation, Syrian. Oh, okay. I don't think so. Learning Finnish has definitely put me in, out of my comfort zone, and that is good because that's a place where you grow. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, time to battle a little bit. Well, good night. Nice to, nice to hang with. Okay, remember to check out and subscribe to Olivia's channel also. She makes some pretty uh, good content from an uh, international perspective uh, in Finland. Thank, thanks, Olivia, to, for having you here. And Happy New Year. <laughs> okay. I'm working on Icelandic, Icelandic language since my... Oh, wow, that's a nice, nice uh, challenge there. In general, are Finns willing to immigrate to other countries? Uh, I think so. I th there's many, many young people who want to even leave Finland for better, uh, better weather or better job opportunities and so on. May I thank Walter again? There is nothing wrong being with being racist. Actually, that's there's a lot of wrong being racist. We are supposed to be. Because who wants to in England? It's fuck. <laughs> Sorry for the F bomb. We are supposed to be. Ah, God 
damn it, I forgot the word. You know, we should be understandable towards everyone. Of course, that's that's not something we should do. The foreigners lead by example. Remember, when you immigrate to a country, and whether you like it or not, you are representing your country and culture. That's very wise wise words from Sayaka. That's 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 we could basically summarize it there. A refugee is in non Finland by choice, but by necessity. A software engineer in Finland by choice. A refugee usually mentally traumatized and emotional. Well, that's also true, yeah. But even a refugee can learn learn to code. Of course, we might have a little bit different starting situations there, but but we should do what we, what is within our reach. So, if a refugee decides to come to Finland, he or she should actively start to think how what she can what what they can do in our country it could be software development engineering or whatever they are for example i usually go uh, next to my place or close to my place there is a haircut uh like hairdresser i think the guys from uh what well, is it what's the place kurdistan What's the name of the country? But anyway, from that area, uh, he came to Finland three years ago without speaking any word, and now he runs his own hairdresser business. So it's definitely doable. It's just all. Up, it's just about taking action and doing what you can. What, doing what is within the reach of your influence. I'm uh, I'm upset all the Finnish course they only took one day for spoken Finnish. Mm -hmm. uh, anyone can learn this skill if you work hard enough. Exactly, good words from Joe. Uh, I'm learning to code so I can be automated tester, now just manual. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Good keep up keep up the good work. I know we should not be total about we just blindly accept anything. That's true. I mean we we should be tolerable but of course to only to some extent i mean we are not we can't really accept everything there's always the line we have to draw the line to somewhere very good uh, very good um conversation and discussion here i was a little bit worried at first because uh, this is kind of like a sensitive topic, cause, and I I don't really cover this on my um, channel, but I definitely want to also bring out these negative aspects because, like any country, Finland also has these negative aspects. And it seems the conversation is going quite nicely. Okay, let's see. If there's I think there's a little bit more. Okay, there's one Finnish comment here. Let's check this out. One. Uh, where is it? Okay. The question lies solidly in the realm of rela relativistic issues. Since we have no means for saying what is the definition of a racist society, there's even less of a chance to say what is a particularly racist society. As a Finn, I will say that most Finns are wary of strangers, any strangers, but once they know one, they are definitely not wary anymore. Ethnicity doesn't necessarily play too big role in this. Given the current state of the social discourse in Europe or racial issues, I'd say we are more mainstream than Belgium, Denmark, or even Sweden, since they have no openly racist political parties, as uh, in the vein of some of these countries. Well, we have Perussuomalaiset, but it's maybe not as as bad as these other countries. And again, this is the same thing. Like one, w once we Finns get to know know you guys, and you know, seems okay, you're a bunch of good people and and stuff. Then, boom, we are accepting you guys just like any other Finns. But like again, we have the same. Same stuff repeating here. Finns are wary of strangers, any strangers, including other Finns. <sighs> okay, I need to <laughs> remember to breathe. Breathe in. Okay. I think there's one more comment. Let's actually, there's two more comments. Mm, should we? Okay, let's. let's. This is quite a short one. Uh, I would say this is also from a Finnish person. 
I wanted to say so. Mo uh, most of my immigrant or immigrant friends have also confirmed this, saying that they haven't faced any racism at all. But the suffering peoples are not that common here in Finland. Okay, see how these same things are repeating here all the time. At least on a relative large numbers, we still have a bit to be u a bit used to the situation. As myself, uh, as, as I myself was well over my twenty, I'm fifty three now. When I saw my first black man live in street. It was. It's actually quite a new thing here. Two starts to be p people all over the world, and as we are quite stoic and reserved folks, some foreigners might mistake to think that even this racist thing. But it's not. This is just how we are. And our capital Helsinki is already quite multicultural already, and they seem to be more European-oriented people already, anyways, for being more open and relaxed. So I guess most foreigners feel quite welcome there. That's pretty true. I kind of agree again, mostly, more to most, mostly what this guy said here. Okay, let's see what you guys have to say. Food culture made me sad and angry. Suomiko. <laughs> I would say by being. The Finns are not racist. I am from America, and in this, if this was an American post, there would be all kinds of cruel hate being thrown around. Okay. Okay, we have some debate going in the chat, but that's okay as long as it's staying uh, reasonable. Okay, I guess we could wrap up this now. I mean, we can still have a look. We've gone. How much we've been on live? I can't even see that. That's a bit un 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 unfortunately. But yeah. So, what do you guys think? There was a lot of interesting thoughts here. But I, if I would conclude this, I'd just say that, um, you know, Finns are just kind of like this. Uh, people, fin Finnish people are people who are not, are still not quite used to foreigners around them because we, and also, okay, let's let's just start again. So to conclude, Finns are kind of this very people. We are not really comfortable with strangers, but once we get to know them, we'll find. And the thing, and the fact that we just don't have that much experience having foreigners here in Finland. So that's another uh, an another thing. And we do have some problems f uh, to hire f uh, foreigners. And uh, that's definitely something that I personally would like to improve if I had the power somehow. Because I know there are many people who could um, who could get a pretty decent job here, but it's just the let's it's structural racism at least some to some extent. And um, and, uh, and what was the an another thing is that we don't really have systematical racism here, and no, it's not really visible. Okay. Good language is always good icebreaker. Yes, I completely agree. Especially when I was living in Japan. My <laughs> when I was living in Japan, my favorite icebreaker was like, Pokemon Go, yatte maska. Like, are you playing Pokemon Go, <laughs> or do you play Pokemon Go? Even it being part of identity, it's not the fact. Uh, Finns are mostly racist, but they don't know say it loud. Okay. Mostly racist. All right. Uh. Okay. So, after having looked at all this, what do you guys think? Based on the comments, what you saw, it seems most of you have had po mostly positive experience. To know the language helps. Def def definitely helps. Because if you know even a little bit of the language, you are automatically displaying that you are actually putting effort to get integrated to the society. Because language is a very essential part of the culture. Uh, no, no, 
we yeah, yeah it's, it's very difficult to have a conversation on this topic without getting any negative comments okay rajat <laughs> kiinni Asking for culture as simulation is not racism. Definitely no. Definitely no. Like if I was to move to, for example, when I moved to Japan, I, I had to pay attention like how the, I couldn't just be like a goofy Finnish guy there. I had to learn like what are their rules and how the society works. And, you know, because you have to respect the people in their own country. Or if you don't, you'll just, well, you don't get kicked out necessarily, but it doesn't really bring any good results. My work self is in English, but many of my coursework speak English, so I must speak Finnish. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, if you want to learn Finnish, that's definitely a good way to go. Uh, as a Finn, I say a lot of phrases that discriminate this stuff as a joke because the, my sense of humor is bad, but I have nothing against foreigners or, or any specific race. Okay, that's good. I mean, if you can make <laughs> playful jokes in a way that no one gets offended, I guess that's fine. Against that, fine. What do you think about immigrants in Sweden? Well, it seems Sweden is facing a lot of problem because they've been a little bit too receptive, and now they're facing a bit of trouble there. So maybe we should at least learn from their mistakes and not repeat the same one. Okay. This was very interesting discussion and I hope you also got some good insights because that was my goal with this video to show you some thoughts and of course we just had a small scratch we looked like nine eight comments there and that's not going to give any like a comprehensive pen ultimate you know uh, judgment or decision on this because it's impossible you know but at least I hope this will definitely open your eyes and give like some deeper insights on this topic and yeah like like I said I'm I'm very international friendly <laughs> I wouldn't be doing this channel otherwise in any in any case but uh, well and as long as we have immigrants or foreigners who who are ready to live like a Finn. You don't have to become like a Finn because that's too much to ask, but if you are just learning the language at least a little bit, finding a job, paying taxes, you know, respecting the Finnish culture and stuff, then that's fine. That's fine. I, you can live the rest of your life here if you want. That's pretty cool as long as you're, you get part of the society. But in case you don't, you don't like it, then you should just go back or go somewhere else. Yeah, so I, I hope this was really, I hope this bring brought you some nice insights. And yeah, so I guess with this we can wrap this uh, video up. I hope this was uh, also good stuff for you guys. And next video will be, I think, next Thursday. I'm already editing that for you guys, so we will continue next week. And also, Happy New Year to all of you. I think I didn't say it to you yet on vi on a video yet. I guess but now happy new year to all of you and we will see you in the next video and wish you also great start for the next week so thank you guys kiitos kaikille nähdään seuraavalla videolla so mora